It's me. It's me. So, new board, programmed, everything connected. Here it is. Beautiful, nice display showing. Now, I'm not going to leave this on for very long because the voltage regulator is getting hot really quick, which worries me. So I won't, um, I won't be doing a lot of extended tests while I'm plugging from the power. If I'm plugging directly from the, the USB, no problem. Just nice, steady uh, power, and it doesn't get it doesn't get hot or anything. So for now. I'm gonna stay away from that from that until I figure out if there is any issue. But uh, I checked every possible contact for shorts everywhere. And I didn't find anything, so I'm pretty sure there are no shorts. But yeah, I don't like the idea of this getting uh, hot really fast. Um, this is uh, this is a 12 volt. Um, power adapter and they suggest as far as the voltage goes on the Arduino to go between um, between 7 and 12 as the margins and then uh, they say it won't work with less than uh, if, if less than 7 volts is supply you might not get 5 volts out of the 5 volt pins and they say the maximum allowed range would be six volts to six volts to twenty volts, which is a pretty a lot of margin from twelve. But um, yeah, I don't like the idea of the regulator getting hot at all. So um, I'll see what I'll do and how I'm gonna handle this. I'm just so relieved, relieved to see it happening. <laughs> and it was a funny thing. When I was turning it on, I could see, well, at first, I would not see anything. It was blank, black. I'm like, okay, now not only my board, my Arduino died, but my LCD died. And this costed me $16. So, well, let's see. Maybe it can just order another one. Guess what? Look for 3.95 inch. Uh, MCU friend LCD TFT touchscreen like this $128 no idea what's happening it I, I'm sure I pay $16 for this as I don't have $128 at all I don't know I, it, I was freaking out okay if I cannot replace this and I cannot find another uh, 400 480 by 320 and I have to go with one of those 320 240 I'm gonna have to redesign the whole screen all the coordinates all the graphics everything is hand drawn so it's gonna take a while I was freaking out then I found out that the line when I was debugging uh, the line that actually loads the graphics the, the call to the function to draw the screen was commented so oh, okay well, uncommented ran the thing and I got another surprise because it would not uh, it will not this well it would display the graphics but there were glitches around and that was like unbelievable did I really break the thing or not well it turns out see these two guys here uh, that's the 574 to to hold the values for the LED array when the bus is doing something else. Well, if you look at the back, you will see the first one has the power hooked up. The second one has nothing hooked up. Well, I took this chip away, but I did not take this one. And Apparently, if you have a chip that's unpowered, when the buzz information goes through it, it freaks out and distorts the things. So, I removed the chip down here, 
and then boom, graphics, beautiful, everything working. Okay, so I decided to pick that one up and put it back on the top slot that has uh, the wire hookups with the capacitor and everything. And no problem, works fine. So it must be because this guy has power, the other one didn't. And uh, it was freaking out and distorting the data lines that were communicating with the TFT. So you get corrupted data, you get corrupted graphics, it makes all the sense. Uh, but that problem is now fixed. And uh, so yeah, now what I have to do is I have to hook up all the outputs for all the switches all over the board. It's gonna take a while, but at least now I know I can continue to work and I'm gonna start seeing results, which makes me very, very happy. All right, that'll be all for now. News, as soon as I have them, you'll be the first to know. Bye-bye.